Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Y'all have probably seen videos like this all over YouTube because it's pretty popular. But today I will be only eating foods and drinks with the color red. Of course that doesn't include water because I still have to drink water. But yeah, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm looking in the fridge right now because I was thinking of having like red apples and some cranberry juice but I think we finished all of those, like both of those things, so whoops. Okay, so what I decided I was gonna do is I'm gonna make some pasta. First, I'm gonna try to use some pasta that we just bought from the store and try to boil it in water with um, either food dye or beets to try to stain it red. And if that doesn't work, then I think I'm gonna have to make pasta from scratch. And then I'm gonna make some bolognese sauce because that's red and hopefully that works out. Okay, so first I have to get the red food dye. Okay, so I got all of my ingredients out here. And when I was visiting Canada for winter break, this, that was before I had this channel, um, I forgot that I bought these, but I'm already kind of excited to make bolognese pasta, so I'm probably gonna have these later today. They just look really good, so. This is all the stuff I have. So of course, like tomatoes, because I'm making tomato pasta. And I would have liked to put like garlic and onion and stuff in it, but it's not red. So instead I have some fresh chili sauce, some gochujang. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but I know it's for bibimbap, but I just assumed that it would add a nice flavor. I'm just gonna turn this off while I speak. And then I have a bit more just tomato sauce and tomato paste just to make it taste good. And of course, some minced beef. I just assumed, okay, it kind of looks pink on camera, but of course it's like red because it's beef, with like blood and stuff. So I assumed that I can just use this as well because it counts. And then this is like icing color, but it doesn't have a flavor to it. So I'm gonna try to boil this pasta in water that I stained with this and hopefully that makes it a bit red. And like, I know that the pasta isn't technically red, but it has red packaging. So I think that that counts because I have no other red food. Like I don't have red, um, I don't have any red flour to make um, pasta or bread with. So I just assumed that this would work and then I can stain it with red so it'll still look red. Okay, so first we're just gonna fill the kettle up with water. Also, we have this really nice white pot that I always use, but I decided to just use this old one because I was worried that if I use the white one and then add red food coloring, it will stain the pot and that would suck and my parents would get so mad, so I'm just gonna use this old one. because I don't want to stain anything by accident. Also, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that right there, that is a baby photo of me from when I was younger. Okay, so this is like super strong and I don't want to stain anything, so I think I have to get something and just like poke a little bit in. But also at the same time, since it's a lot of water, it'll probably get diluted down. So I don't want to like put too little so that it won't stain the pasta. <laughs> I'm just going to use like a little fork. Okay, I think like this much is enough, so I'm just gonna mix that in there. And like if it's not enough, I can always add more later, so it's okay. Now I'm gonna put my pasta in and just leave it aside for it to boil while I make the sauce. I don't know why, but that just looks so cool. Okay, so for the pasta sauce, first I'm just gonna put like a bunch of this in. Okay, so hopefully that's enough now. I can always add more later. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a bit of chili because I love spicy food, but I'm not sure how spicy this is. I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. Okay, so I know that this is kind of cheating, 
but the sauce isn't really looking too much like a sauce so I'm gonna add a bit of cream just to make it a bit more creamier and more like a sauce I'm just gonna mix that in and I know it's looking a bit orangey so I'm gonna put a bit more pasta sauce also I want to add a bit more taste so I'm gonna add just a tiny tiny bit of brown sugar just to make it a little bit more sweet putting the sugar in it. But for me, I feel like adding sugar, especially to things like pasta and pasta sauce, it really brings out like the natural sweetness of the tomatoes, so that's why I add it. Now I'm gonna mix that in. Okay, so I think that this is more red and it's better, so it counts. And of course, the most important step is tasting your food the whole day. Oh my God. It actually tastes really good. I don't know what I was expecting, but it tastes really good. So I'm just gonna leave this how it is and move on to the pasta. Also, I just realized I completely forgot about the ground beef. So I'm just gonna cook that now and add it to my pasta sauce. Ooh, it's starting to boil. It looks like a cauldron, it's so cool. This is probably a good time to check if the food dye worked. So I really, really hope it did. God, y'all, that looks so sick. That looks amazing. So it needs a bit more time. It's still a little pinky, but I'm so happy that that's working. Okay, so I'm probably gonna use like that much, I think. I just need to break it apart a bit. Okay, so I actually just tasted it and the pasta seems done, so I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm gonna try to mix this up a bit more while it's cooking. It actually wasn't enough beef, so I'm gonna add a bit more. Like this much. this cooks for a bit, I'm gonna clean up. Okay, so the beef in the pasta seems cooked, but I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes just to be safe. Okay, so the pasta sauce is done. Now I'm gonna just turn this off. Okay, so I just strained the pasta and oh my God, you guys would not believe it. Look how red that is. Oh my God, it worked so well. This looks so cool. Oh my God, it doesn't even look real. And I realize in comparison to the red pasta, the actual sauce looks kind of brown, but that's mostly because of the beef. It made it have more of a brown color, but you guys know what it looked like before. It was red. So the red color is super cool, but I can't tell if I find this really, really awesome or if it looks unappetizing or not, but you know, looks don't matter. I'm just gonna try it and hopefully it tastes good. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tastes really good. I know that there's no garlic or onion or anything in it, but it tastes amazing. Okay, so first meal of the day is definitely a win. 10 out of 10, tastes amazing and looks super cool and more or less fit with the red theme. So I'd say that this one's a win. Also after that meal, I kind of wanted something sweet, but we don't have any sweet candy or like red apples or anything. So I just have dried cranberries. Okay, so now I'm gonna go make the Cheeto mac and cheese because it looks interesting. So I wanna see how it tastes. So yeah, let's just go raid the kitchen.
These actually look really cool, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't know how good it's gonna taste. So I'm a bit worried, but that's okay. Okay, so first um, I'm going to let the kettle boil up the water so that when I put it in a pot, it'll just heat up and cook the pasta a lot faster. Okay, so originally I thought that the actual pasta itself would be red, but it's not. So I'm guessing that the redness comes from the um, seasoning, but that's okay, it still counts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is really cute. Chester's Cheetos secret seasoning, it's so adorable. Okay, so the water is all boiled, so I'm just gonna pour in here. And the directions say use at least six cups of water, but I don't know, I feel like that would be a waste and I don't think it makes too much of a difference, so it's okay. Just gonna turn this on. And honestly, I have really high hopes for these because I love Flaming Hot Cheetos. I, I like how they're really tangy. So hopefully these taste good. I'm just gonna them oh. I don't know if I was supposed to pour the whole thing in or not, but I kind of did. But that's fine, because then if I have leftovers, I can just put it in the fridge or something. Okay, now I think I understand why they say put six cups of water, so I will go boil more. See, this has like a tiny bit. That's not gonna do anything, is it? Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna use regular water. I'm too lazy to wait for all of the water to boil again. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I have to close this first. So I'm just gonna, yeah. The fire will heat it up anyway, and that's probably enough, right? Yeah, that's fine. And of course, I got my red spatula. And I have to leave that for like, it says seven minutes. Um, so I'll just do nothing for a little while. Okay, so it's starting to boil now. I think it's cooked, but it doesn't look cooked. So I think I have to just try one and check. Oh my God, it's foaming. I've never had that happen before. Okay, so it is not cooked yet. So I'm just gonna turn the heat back on because I think it needs like a couple more minutes. I just really don't want it to overflow, but that's okay. While that is finishing up cooking, I'm just gonna get um, some butter and just get the pan ready for when I have to cook it. It's a really random thing, but I honestly hate our little butter thingy. It's so plain. I really want those cute ones where it's like a porcelain cow. On TikTok, there's like this lady who got like a bunch of like mystery porcelain molds and she's just been like do, um, using each of them each day. And she had this really cute one that came out as like a cow and it's a coffee creamer in the shape of a cow. And I thought it was so cute and I like really want one, but I haven't been able to find them anywhere online. So it's so annoying. Just gonna get a knife for the butter. Also, this has been cooking for a bit longer, so I think it's like fine now. So I'm just gonna leave that be. And then I'm gonna, oh, it's so squeaky. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get my pan and put it here. I'm gonna just, there we go. And then I'm gonna, oh, don't want that to slip. I think I need like that much butter. Oh my God. <sighs> Okay, there we go. I think that much butter is like fine. They say, um, wait, what did they say? Wait, I can't read that. Okay, it says about two tablespoons of butter. So I think that's like enough, probably. So I'm just gonna put that. <laughs> Shh, we don't need to talk about that. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda looks like cheese. Not anymore, now it's melted, but before it looked like cheese. Wrong drawer. There we go. And then I'm gonna use the strainer thingy. Okay, I saw this one trick that you can just like do that. Ooh, okay, it's working. Nice. I totally thought that I would mess that up and it would fall all over, but it didn't. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put that in here. I honestly probably could have just kept, oh. I probably could have just cooked it in this one, but it's okay, I wasn't thinking. Also, I think the heat is too high, so I'm gonna have to turn that down a bit. 
This is like a lot of pasta. I didn't think this through. Okay, now I'm gonna add this. It says that I should just, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, it actually says to add milk, so I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Oh, actually this one is open. We use a lot of milk in this house. I think that's enough. Wait, what does it say? Uh, it says four, oh, four tablespoons of milk. I thought that said four cups of milk. <laughs> oh no. Okay, whoops, I'm gonna like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm just gonna pour some milk out. That's such a waste. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. I fixed it, you guys. Yay. Now I'm just gonna mix that in some more. That's probably still too much milk, but that's okay. Okay, add milk and the seasoning thing. So I'm gonna do that now. Ooh, whoa, that actually looks really cool. Do y'all see that? Huh. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this in. Hello. It's like a big chunk stuck at the bottom. There we go. It's like, huh. Wait, I'm tempted to try some of this. I'm gonna get like a smaller piece. I know it's just because it's like really, really like strong flavor, oh, but that tastes adorable. So don't be like me. Don't do that if you ever eat this. That was such a bad decision. Anyway, now I'm just gonna crumble that a little bit. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That doesn't seem like enough, you know? I don't, ooh, oh, actually. I mean, I guess since it's all packaged up, it's pretty strong. I don't, ooh, oh, actually. So it's, ooh, it's really turning dark red. That's really cool. This is so mesmerizing for me, oh my God. Yeah, okay, so it's actually pretty similar to the photo. And if I'm being honest, I didn't think what they had in this little packet would be enough for this much pasta, but I was definitely wrong about that. So I'm glad that I ended up cooking all of the pasta because then it would just be way too much seasoning. But I don't fully see how this is mac and cheese because it doesn't look cheesy. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to like add cheese. Yeah, no, it doesn't say anywhere to add cheese. So I don't know, maybe when I try it, it'll taste more cheesy, but I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> There's still like little chunks of this here and it's really hard to like break apart, but I don't want to like accidentally just bite into a big chunk of seasoning because that would be horrible. So maybe I need to add like more milk or butter because I think maybe that'll help break all the little clumps up. So this time I'm only gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm gonna be super careful. There, that's probably enough. Okay, and I added the milk. So I'm just gonna let that mix a little bit. Oh my God, they're so cute. I'll stop watching y'all. This, I just have to do that. See, nothing happened. I didn't spill anything. It has a really, really strong smell though, so I think that's a good thing. And it looks so cool. Like, oh my God. Look at that color. That's really cool. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean up because made a little bit of a mess, whoopsie. We're just gonna go put this back. And while I clean up, I do wanna just have a talk with y'all. So like, I was in Dubai, which I can link the video. Um, oh my God, my hair's a mess. There we go. So I was in Dubai recently for, um, I think it was spring break. I think it was, I, yeah, I think it was spring break. 
and they had all like sorts of new snacks that I've never seen before, including blue Takis, which I thought was so cool. And I do like, and I filmed me trying all these snacks um, in my coming home from du uh, Dubai video, which I can link, but I don't know. I just like, I really wish that Singapore had all these cool snacks because I have looked all over for new Cheeto snacks and Takis and all that, and they just don't have it here. So Singapore, please bring good snacks here. <laughs> like this is an official message to Cheetos. Please just bring your new snacks here because I don't want to have to go all the way back to Canada and <laughs> bring back like 10 bags of just snacks. <laughs> Oopsie. As I was gonna say, um, that's the end of my PSA. And we're done cleaning too. I still can't get over how cool it looks. It is so red. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to like pick a nice bowl. Ooh, I'm gonna go with this white one because I think it'll really make the red pop because color theory. Just gonna put this away. Wait, no, actually, wait, I need that. Give it back. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like sticking a little bit to the bottom. Shoot. Okay, well, wait. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just gonna pour this in now. <laughs> I will clean this up. Okay, let's just get that back in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, whoopsie. I made such a mess, so I'm just gonna clean that up really quickly. I will get back to you guys. I'm just gonna move this aside for now while I just clean that up. Oh god, I'm gonna have to take off the grates, like these thingies, and like wipe all underneath. <laughs> Well, okay, no, it's not too messy. Most of the flavor is like sticking to it, so. I like how they dyed, like how it dyed the actual pasta red, but I think that's because it was such a strong like flavor packet. Okay, we're just gonna get a cloth and just stick that in there, <laughs> down here a little bit. Okay, that's, that's better. I'm actually also just gonna do that here. Just leave no trace, no evidence of me making any mess. Okay, and then I'm just gonna actually get these little bits here. There we go. Okay, cool, so this is what it looks like. It looks pretty funky, but it looks cool. I'm super excited to taste the pasta and see what it tastes like. I really hope it doesn't stain my shirt though, because that would be annoying. Just gonna put that there. I almost forgot I need a fork. Ooh, I have this really cool fork. It's like a wrench, so I'm gonna use this fork. This looks so cool. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I promise you guys, I know how to use a fork. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that is good. That is good pasta. At first, it tasted like kind of plain. It had no flavoring to it because I was expecting something kind of lemony. And I tasted it and it just tasted like plain pasta. So it was a letdown. And then I had like kind of, not spice, but like a peppery taste kick in. And I was like, oh, okay, that tastes good. And then afterwards, like kind of an aftertaste, it tasted really good. It was like, not cheesy because it doesn't have any cheese in it or at least it doesn't look like it has any cheese in it but it had some sort of weird like cheesy taste like no cheese in it but i had a taste to it um so i actually really like that and i was pleasantly surprised because it tastes really good but i would suggest when you eat it like squirt some lemon into it because it really makes it taste like actual flaming hot cheetos with like the kick and then the lemony but Overall, I was like so surprised. It tastes really good, but it takes a second for like the yummy, good taste to kick in. I'm just gonna go in for another bite. Mm. Good pasta. I was actually kind of nervous to try this because it looked like it tasted good, but I was afraid that it would taste really artificial. 
but it actually tastes amazing. So I definitely recommend buying these if you have it in your area. It's really good. I do think that I overcooked it a bit though. These, when the water was first um, starting to like boil and have like that foamy look, I probably should have taken it out then because yes, it was a bit undercooked, but then when I put it in the pan, it would have gotten more cooked. So that's my bad. It is a little mushy, but it still tastes fine. Also, I found this in the fridge. It's grapefruit juice and it says it has pink and white in it. So I'm hoping it kind of looks red because I really want to try it. Wait, I'm just going to stand y'all up on top of the coffee machine. Okay, we're good. So I really want to taste this. I'm just going to... Uh, ooh, okay. I'm going to use this glass because it looks cool. I'm just going to put that there. here for a little bit just to see the color oh no it's yellow okay so I cannot have this I'm curious though so I'm just gonna have a little sip mm. Mm, no 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 thank you I mean the flavor is good it tastes good it's just I, it has a bunch of pulp in it and I'm not really into that yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I definitely did. It was super interesting and actually really, really fun to try all these new cool foods and try to find loopholes to make food red. So I actually enjoyed myself a lot. I'm definitely gonna make another video like this in the future, probably with a color orange, cause you know, rainbow order. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because there will be more videos like this in the future. Bye.